Um, okay. Uh, so back at one run HQ, we have got runners in. Let me find out for you. Uh, Madagascar, we've got Uganda, South Amazing. Sudan, Iraq, and Kenya all running at this precise moment. Just, just some of the many. But we're, um, we're getting very, very close to halfway around the world now. Is I mean, kind of footprints left over half the world and half to go. So super mega excited. It's an hour until it all kicks off in the UK, where you guys are, where I am. You're snug in a beautiful home with a little roaring fire behind you. Looks amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, and so, so I should introduce our guests because we've got Dave and Emma Cornthwaite, the uh, founder. Dave's a founder of the S Drive, and Emma's the beating heart and soul, and the, the pretty one that makes it all keep going. Right? Fair enough. It's fair enough. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, the thing, the thing that everyone's loving about uh, One Run is the community. You guys know absolutely everything there is to know about community. You set up the Yes Tribe. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Um, uh, where to start? I suppose after a few years of adventuring around on skateboards and paddleboards, I really missed having community around because I was so nomadic and I also met so many really kind strangers on my journey so I kind of tried to find those kind strangers in England so back in 2015 Facebook event come camping with me near London for one night and then 19 people turned up underneath the train station clock and that was the first Yes Tribe event now we've got over 25,000 members globally uh, I met M through the Yes Tribe. Uh, I had a broken leg, so she couldn't run away. And- Well, you couldn't run away. Yeah, I couldn't run away, that's right. <laughs> Although I am fast with a broken leg. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, here we are five years later, and this is massive for us, Danny. So we're, we're doing our one run on our first day Definitely. in our new home, which is amazing. It makes it extra special. How cool is that? How cool for us guys that, we, you're putting time out of your day, unpacking boxes or whatever else you have to do when you move home uh, to do this. But it's also really, really super nice for you to have this kind of little special christening. But you've already got logs on the fire. That's all that matters. Yeah, definitely. That's it. The funny, the funny thing is, it's not just seven p.m. for for M because she wanted to push the fundraising. So yeah. she said she'd run a minute for every pound donated. So she's raised hundreds of pounds and she's been running all day. <laughs> I, yeah, so I, I raised 240 pounds. So that's 240 minutes. Which is four hours of running. That's my maths degree coming in right there. Yeah, so I'm doing it in bits throughout the day. Oh, you, you are incredible. <laughs> this is the great thing. I think the Yes Drive, I think your third, for the whole of the Yes Drive, you're definitely, you've got the most people running, the, the team with the most people running. You Amazing. raised, I think, the third most money between the, the, the lot of you. Yeah. Like, the Yes Drive is, um, what do you think it is with the Yes Drive? That's, it, is, it is special. There's something magical in it that has, it, it's not just a community, but it's, it's a super tight one, isn't it? That people are just supporting each other everywhere. Where, where do you think that's come from? Absolutely. And it's super organic. I, and even if nobody knows each other, it feels like you do after one conversation. There's a, there's a trust element involved in there that's just anybody who says yes and has a positive attitude generally is a lovely person who wants to help. Mm. So it's it's catching, I think. As soon as one person helps another person or is helped by somebody in the S-Tribe, then it just spreads and they end up helping lots of other people as well. Yeah, we're not supposed to be talking about infections this year, but uh, it, it is really it, it is a, a bonding experience being part of the S-Tribe. And whether you come to an event in real life in normal times or on the Yes Tribe group on Facebook, we have a no negativity policy. So there's no, there's no, there's none of that. It's every, everyone just posts their dreams and ambitions and adventures and everyone else is there to support them. And it's a, it's a real privilege to be part of it. Absolutely. Yeah, I, think I share that same feeling with what we're doing right now. It's just yeah. such a privilege. You feel, you feel like it's a privilege to be part of it. And a lot of people will say, well done for setting it up. But literally, all, that's all you do, isn't it? And then, mm -hmm. and then these communities start growing for themselves and the people start you know, going, you know, going out and, and, and finding new connections, finding new people to bring into it, creating new events, all that sort of stuff. It's, and 
it is, it is very funny as kind of a, a founder of something that it really isn't anything to do with you. It's you just you just have you are just silly enough to think it might be a good idea. And then yeah. everyone else does the hard work. This is we got we, we started with a team of three and we've ended up with a team of 15,003. And the, the 15,000 are probably the more than we have, you know, they're on their phones the whole time. They're on the internet searching for runners all over the world. I, w- I wonder what it is that, uh, that makes humans act that way. Yeah, I think, I think there's, if you've got a really juicy idea and Danny, you know, as well as I do, you know, any idiot can have a good idea, but it, it has to, it has to resonate with with more than you and i think if you if it's really positive and it brings out passion in people you know this this is amazing everything that that you and your team have done is you know it, it strikes a pulse in our heart for Absolutely. sure and you've connected the entire world it's insane it's so cool why would you not get involved with that yeah you can't say no to that well that is lovely yeah it does it does feel that way though it just it, it's the hard thing is actually reaching people and then as soon as you reach them and you tell them about it they're like of course I want to be part of that. It's something yeah. um, it's kind of special, and especially at the end of this year where it's been a little bit, um, you know, a little bit rubbish. To, to, to finish it in December, feeling like you're, you're part of a worldwide community is super mega cool. Mate, it's properly Absolutely. special. I think everyone is craving unity at the moment. We live in such a mad world, and uh, an event like this just shows... It's almost like the World Cup or the Olympics. Everybody feels like they're they're in the same boat and they can contribute the same amount uh it might be at different speeds it might be in a different part of the world but it's really really special to be you know we're in a little tiny corner of lincolnshire right now and to know that there's people running in madagascar and we're all doing it for the same reasons that's special yeah and i I think I, i think you've helped us a lot along the way um reaching out to people i know em you were reaching out to people in sierra leone yeah. They were they were one of our first African nations to get on board, and then they, you know, it just spreads from there as well, doesn't it? And I, I, if, yeah. Emmy, you've got um, kind of history in Sierra Leone of helping run the Sierra Leone Marathon. Yeah, I did. I, I know you've had mega experiences out there. Can you give us any experiences that have been like mad, super crazy? <laughs> mad, super crazy. <laughs> well, the first marathon I ever ran was in Sierra Leone um 36 degree heat that was pretty bonkers um I've got to say I didn't run all of it uh but I I did complete the distance just what not at the same speed (laughs) that I started um I ended up being part of the sweep team at the back sweeping up all the runners so we ran as a community group at the back just with loud music pumping um and just having fun with all the villages along the way that was super, super cool. Everyone was really supportive. And even if they weren't registered for the event, they just joined in the party as we were walking and running down the street. So it was awesome. And that's kind of how we feel with this as well. You're like, it isn't about, it isn't about running for an hour. It's about taking part. And we've got people that are saying they're going to go for their first run, that they haven't run for years and they're going to try it out. There's people saying, I don't want to run. My knees are shot. I'm just going to go for a walk. And that is yeah. like absolutely equal. You can do that. You're part of the community. That's that's cool, isn't it? Absolutely. Even if you're sat still and you can't run or walk, you just you move your arms and have a little boogie in a chair. That works too. For yes. sure. And yeah. For most people who are walking, they're just the same speed as me running. So that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it's actually one of the things I absolutely love. You guys are taking part, but neither of you absolutely love running, do you? No. I hate it. <laughs> and, I and, why is it and why is this? I do a marathon under duress, but and I run because I feel like I should. But what, I'm also when I get back, I'm very proud of myself, even if it's just been a walk, walk, jog. Yeah, I still say I've gone for a run. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I, I hurt my back pretty badly in 2013, so running's really uncomfortable for me. So I'm go- I'm going to be aching a lot over the next week. But it's worth it. This isn't like you say. It's not about the run, and it's not about us as individuals. It's about everyone playing apart, moving together however painful <laughs> you guys are so brilliant you can actually say sentences where you say two words each and it, uh, it still makes sense it's amazing <laughs> we're so well. <laughs> we've spent a lot of time together this year thank you covid <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, so i'm gonna hit you with a few quick quick fire ones if you could be anywhere in the world doing a, a, a run walk where would it be right here right now love that you're slow yeah. I, I was going to say Sierra Leone. 
Okay, not, I yeah, I'd, I'd be right here in our new home. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I don't want to break up the relationship, so let's move on really, really fast. Um, oh, if, you had a superpower, if you had a superpower for good, what would it be? Fly. Oh, or breathe underwater. Is that okay. good? Yeah. I'd be able to <laughs> good run you, really fast. You are underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Dave. I'd be able to run really fast. <laughs> oh, well, lovely. I don't believe that one moment. Breathe. We had some really good answers, like being a, um, a, a small particle of plastic magnet. And, oh, okay. yeah. wow. Now that's you pressure. Beat downs in the superpower uh, <laughs> arena. I'd, I'd like to be able to uh, fling my arms in the air and sweets come out for all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, now you are winning. Um, what about, um, what, um, what advice, both of you, let's go with M first. Advice for your younger self. Oh, don't worry so much because hmm. it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I think most situations are fine in the end because even if you're crying about it at the time, you learn from it and those are the, the lessons that stick. So I think I would tell myself to chill out more. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Yeah, that's a good one. I... Uh... My younger self, if I if I was still at school, I was I was really I was really badly bullied, which is why no bully means a lot to me here. Uh, I would say to that little spotty ginger kid with thick glasses, "Don't worry, mate. You don't have to be good at school. You don't even need any friends right now because you're going to have thousands when you're bigger." <laughs> so true. Boom, Dave. Yeah. That is so amazing. I mean, and what a lesson that is to. I mean. I, 25,000 people on the, the Yes Drive right now. And, you know, we can talk about the community, but that is down to you setting it up. They're, they're, they all become friends of yours when you put on your festivals, you put on these outings, camping in castles and whatever else it is you're doing. And um, that, that what a lovely lesson that is for any children who are listening. Like, it's, it's, not, all, it's not always going to feel this way and it's going gonna, it's gonna to improve. Yeah, Absolutely. there's there's always hope, and you know when when you're a kid, you you don't have much life experience to draw on, so everything that people say around you holds a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. uh, but you just got to believe. I, I really do think that kids who are bullied, on the whole, they grow up to be really strong adults and and bring yeah. people together. Absolutely. We were, we were talking to um, a lacrosse player from the US. He plays he plays for the US at lacrosse. His name's Greg the Beast. He's a very, very big man. And he told us a, a story very, very similar to yours, Dave, just now. And um, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, you, it can make you stronger. It made him up a lot stronger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> into a beast. But um, absolutely lovely. And, and just one final thing before we go. We've got lots of people who are taking part who are probably like you. They're not you know, seasoned runners. Don't do it um, every single day or anything like that. What advice from your marathons or from, you know, doing, doing your little projects along the way, what advice would you offer those people? Just start small and go at your own pace. You're not competing against anybody, even yourself. I think the fact that you've even put your trainers on is a good start. Or either go and barefoot, go barefoot and just go for as long as you can or as long as you enjoy it. I think... You can smile through any of it and then it all of a sudden you just feel a lot brighter. So I would say smile through the struggles. Hmm. And I'd say, you know, whether it's tonight or, or any day, just keep keep moving. If you stay still, you gather rust and then you break easily. And it's so much easier to, to live life when you're not in pain and you're fit and you're healthy. So move a little bit every day. Keep a smile on your face. Say yes more. Ah, oh. uh, there you that, That's a really good one. Absolutely true. We all should say yes more. And I love the, I love this smile. Like a few people have said it, and I, I don't know whether you, you guys follow uh, Kipchoge, who broke the two-hour marathon. He, he smiles when he's in pain, just because it yeah. makes him feel awesome. So he, it does. He's in pain, so he smiles, and then he gets, you know, he speeds up because he's putting a smile on his face. How cool is that? It's yeah. amazing. Uh, that's the fastest man on the planet. That, that, that's <laughs> the man you aspire to be with your superpower, Dave. <laughs> uh, the, the, prob the problem is, Danny, no one can see his smile because they're all behind him. <laughs> that, yeah, that is absolutely true. <laughs> the smile's for him. It has to mean it's something to you, Danny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. You know, a, a smile is, is, is only for you, really. I mean, I guess you see them and you, you reflect a smile. They're contagious. 
much like yeah. the pretty wonderful lifestyle you two are living is. So um, brilliant. But also, I think if you're out on a run and you're in the middle of nowhere and you're grinning as big as you can, if a car passes you and they look at your face That's and you, awesome. you call, catch each other in the eye, I just, I get giggles. Because <laughs> you know that that person's like, well, what were they smiling Yeah, what were they on? <laughs> And then it's yeah, just even more better for you as well, because you're just running along, <laughs> just giggling to yourself. Oh, I love that. And they're probably giggling in their car, thinking, but who yeah, is exactly. this person? But you've brightened somebody else's day at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Never hide yeah. your smile. Never hide that smile. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave you to your fire. You can mm -hmm. smile at each other. This new house you've moved into, the new dreams of what you're creating with the Yes Tribe, with this house and llamas. Alpacas. Uh, alpacas. Alpacas. alpacas, Danny. <laughs> Sorry. Totally llamas are spitters. <laughs> Have I just absolutely ruined the interview by, by calling them llamas? No. Yeah, you can't visit now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, great, guys. Fantastic. Love this interview. You two are beautiful. Rock on. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, buddy. Keep it up. Good work. Hey, em, one final question. Four, mm. four hours, you've got to do four hours. What are you at at the moment? I'm at, oh, I think I've got about 32 minutes to go. Oh, smash it. Great. Yeah. So we're um, going to head outside at seven, finish off our runs, and then uh, come back into the fire. Amazing. Enjoy. Thanks, Thanks guys. Buddy. Rock and roll. Bye. Bye.